hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to talk about how to perform a front impact simulation of a formula vehicle or a bahaz vehicle so without waiting let's get started so as you can see we have this frame so this is our bulkhead this is made hoop rear roll hoop and our engine and spool area or you can say differential area so as the logically if you say that uh, if your car having an impact from front side then your rear should be fixed in static condition only if you are performing in a static simulation so you should fix this uh, for the convergence and this part will have the frontal impact force which is about 5G, 6G, 8G or 12G, whatever you want to apply on that, right? So you can find your uh, requirements in your rule book or some, somewhere else. So what is the force requirement? What is the impact requirement? What is the displacement in that? What is the maximum stress value? For those results, you can interpret uh, better after doing the simulation. So let's get started with the static simulation first. We will go into dynamic simulation in the future videos. Uh, if you support us well by sharing our videos and uh, yeah, you can comment down your requirements as well. We will surely uh, look up to that uh, requirements. So beginning from the static simulation. So I will start new study and selecting my static simulation over here there is no 2d simplification i want to do in this kind of simulation so i will uncheck this uh, let's say i'm doing this as a frontal impact right you can check okay done Now, my drawings are ready just because of I have built my model using the Wailbit. So, if you are mod modeling in the SOLIDWORKS, so you have better chance to select the beam joints. Like uh, you can you can check that there is a joint group has been created over here. So, what it does, it does the uh, creating a points over uh, this nodes over here, right? Wherever your joints are coming, it will create a one uh, beam joint group. So that it will be better to apply the forces or apply the fixtures, uh, right? So that's fine. Now, as you can see, uh, this is my the demonstration how to apply the forces or how to apply the fix nodes. So I will show you uh, how to fix and how to apply the force. So if you are professor or some someone else asked ask to do the analysis at 12g so what you have to do this is not dynamic condition i am just counting the static condition that's why if your force is a 12g so what you can do you have mass of 280 kgs and you have to add multiply into your gravitational constant which is a 9.81 so it will be around 2750 newton and if you apply the 12g forces then uh, 2750 into 12 that will be your 33000 around so 33 kilonewton you will have to apply in in your uh, frontal loads right so this is the basic uh, clear understanding about how to apply the force and what is the uh, value of the force you have to apply now we will go into solidworks and now we will apply the forces let's say Okay, we will fix our uh, area, this area first. So what you have to do, you just go to the fixture advisor and fix geometry. Now, as you can see, you can uh, see that node, but you can't select. Why? Because you have selected this one, faces, edges and vertices. We don't have any faces, vertices or edges over here. So what you can do you can just go to joints and you can click the joints 
so as you can see you have the symbol of a fixture over here and you can see the joints let's say i have four joints has been fixed right now many students are doing the fixture at this point as well so if your whole structure is connected to the one part or one body itself so you can select them as well if you are it depends on your uh, spool bounds and engine bounds so it depends on the complexity of your uh, spool section but there is no need to worry you can fix those four points and also these fours as well right so i'll fix it right now what what i will do now i will apply the forces i will go to the force as you can see the same thing you have to apply if you want to select the beams then you can go to the beams so you you are able to select the beams as well but for now i will select the joints so i will select the joints over here this for my bulkhead joints so i have selected those and apply the direction so what kind of direction i will apply so i will simply select my any plane which is a horizontal yeah now i will select the forces yeah it's better so if i do at a tail d let's say i will open the calculator right now so i want to do this analysis at a 4g condition and my weight is around 300 so what you can do you can apply the 300 into 9.81 2943 and at a 5g condition into multiply by 5 so here is my force value that is a 14715 right so i will apply the 14715 newton you can uh, reverse the direction as well on this side but we don't want that the force will occur on this uh, bulkhead i will click it okay yeah i'm done with that for the better accuracy you can go for the selection of beams as well but uh, for the just understanding purpose i am selecting the nodes over here now you can mesh create a mesh so better you go for a somehow fine message for the better accuracy of your results so uh, make sure that uh, your element size around uh, 2 mm or 3 mm for now i'm going for 15 around just because this is for the understanding only that's why okay done huh. so this is the simple beams have been shipped over here and my arms has been yeah done with the somehow codes accuracy never mind we will go ahead now we will solve our result then run the study material is not defined okay so you have to apply the material you have to apply the all the bodies now you can go for the where is my 4130 still normalized condition apply and click the close if you want to hide any type of beam over here let's say this beam or this beam is not required this beam is not required so what you can do you just go to the cut list and select the cut list whatever you want to hide that or exclude exclude from the analysis that that what you can do for this simulation uh, simplifying your simulation now yeah my i will run the study now it is getting calculated okay as you can see i can't see my beams over here so what you can do you just double click on it and just go to definition and select the beams it only select the solid and cells for now but i will select the beams as well and render so it is showing the axial if you want to uh, interpret your result in bending in direction one direction two axial bending both torsional as well shear you want to calculate so you can select your parameter over here so you can select the axial i will deform the shape around uh, 
three times more. So as you can see, you will have a deformed chassis result and as you can see my higher stress values are coming on this uh, red beams. So you can uh, read the legend and read the simulation results and make sure that it is not going beyond your uh, yield limit. So that's how you can uh, perform a simple simulation of a frontal impact analysis. Further in the future videos we will upload a content where the dynamic simulation and uh, transient type of forces will uh, act on act on this and yeah we will work on it in the using the ANSYS uh, mechanical also you can see the displacement plots yeah as you can see these are the maximum deformed beams over here so my QRES is 3.22 into the one yeah, it's very huge for now and you can calculate your FOS, your hotspot diagnosis, yeah you can go to that, it is good for interpreting the, your, your result, right? you can run this, ok, so it will show you where the maximum stress is happening right now, we will show you this in uh, detail in the future videos, so yeah so that's all for the video for now we will upload a future videos more on this type of uh, content and keep watching keep sharing keep learning thank you so much